Hey Chemistry, Mrs. KJ here going over 3.05 Molality. Okay, so in case you remembered, hopefully you did, we have done a section on molarity. This is different. This is molality. So if we look at the two words next to each other, we can see that there is a whole whopping one letter difference. So this unit's about molality. And before we do that, we are just going to quickly review what molarity was. So review the concepts of molarity and mole ratio. Molarity is a measure of the number of moles of a solute per liter of solution. Molarity, moles per liter, or capital italicized M, is probably the most common way to talk about the concentration of a solution. So remember concentration of a solution, how much solute is it? If you're making Kool-Aid and you have way too much water, it is dilute or not very concentrated. If you don't have a lot of water, it would be more concentrated. In some cases, it is more useful to talk about concentration in terms of mole fraction. Mole fraction can be discussed in terms of either the solute or the solvent with respect to the entire solution. Either the number of moles of solute or the number of moles of solvent is divided by the total numbers of moles of the entire solution. So we can figure out how much of the solute or how much of the solvent there is out of the total. So now let's look at molality. Molality is the number of moles of a solute in one kilogram of the solvent. So molarity was the number of moles of solute per liter of solution this is the number of moles of solute in a kilogram of solvent. The unit is a lowercase italicized m or moles per kilogram. Which m are you? Okay, there's a lot of m's in science. So I could have 15 m, 15 m italicized, or m equals 20 g. Any idea what any of these stand for? So regular m is meters, that's distance. In italicized lowercase m is molal, that's what we're working on in this unit, specifically in this lesson. And then m equals 20g, now it stands for mass and it's measured in grams. So m as a variable is mass, m as a unit is meters, m as an italicized letter is molal. And there's also capital M's, that's right. Capital M stands for momentum, capital italicized M is molar. All right, so let's look again at molarity versus molality. Okay, we have a 4.0 molal, okay, a molal solution, so this is molality, contains 4.0 moles of solute for every kilogram of solvent, a 4.0 molar, Solution contains 4.0 moles of solute for every liter of solution. So the big difference is what you are dividing by. Okay, the rest of it is pretty much the same. Our unit is a little bit different. And of course, it's molal instead of molar. But if you notice in my sentence, everything else is the same. So it's measuring how much solute we're dissolving. Molal is how much you dissolve per kilogram of the solvent, like the water. For molar, it's every liter of the solution. So molar, liter of the solution. Molal, kilogram of the solvent, like water. So let's look at some examples of molality. We have two different beakers, and if you notice, they even look different. Which one is more concentrated, the one on the left or the one on the right? The one on the right is more concentrated. You can tell that because it's darker. It has more of the solute in it. You can also tell because moles of solute, in this case is salt, is 4 on the left. Moles of solute, the salt, is 6 on the right. And they are each in 1 kilogram of water. So what would be the molality of this first beaker on the left B? The molality would be 4.0 molal, or 4.0 italicized lowercase m. We took the 4 for the moles, divided it by 1 kilogram, we got 4 molal. 
All right, what, how many molal would this beaker be? Well, we take the 6, divide it by 1 kilogram, and we get 6 molal, or 6 moles per kilogram, or 6 lowercase italicized m. Calculate the molality of a solution made up of 40 grams of dibromide in 4 kilograms of water. So what's the equation we need to use? Look on your cheat sheet. That's why you have it. What equation are we going to use? Molality is mole solute divided by kilograms of solvent. And which one is our solute? Our solute is 40 grams of Br2 because our solvent is the water. And also the solute is dissolved in the water. So that in is your context clue to tell you that the water is the solvent. All right, what do we need to change it to? So I have 40 grams of Br2, but what do I need it to be? Well, because it's the solute, I need it to be moles. So start with what you know. Put it over 1. What unit goes on the bottom of this fraction? Grams of Br2, because I want them to cancel. And what's the unit of my final answer? Moles, Br2. So what do I have to put up here? I have to put up one mole. And how many grams of Br2 are equal to one mole of Br2? So hit pause, figure out your answer. So if I rounded this to hundredths, I'd have 79.90 times two, because there's two atoms of Br in every one molecule. And so it would be 159.8 grams of Br2. So in our calculator, we would be sure to type everything that we need. So 40 divided by 159.8 gives us 0 0.25 moles of Br2. Are we done? Nope, we are not done. We found the moles of solute. What do we need next? Kilograms of solvent. What chemical is our solvent? Our solvent is the water in this problem. And how many kilograms do we have? Four. So what are you going to put in your calculator? You're going to put in your moles of Br2, so 0.25 moles of Br2 divided by four kilograms. And you get 0 0.06 what? Well, you could say moles per kilogram. Or you could also say a lowercase italicized letter M. Did you remember that one? Either way would work because that's the molality. Or you could also just say molal. So again, molarity versus molality. Moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. Which one is that? That one is molality, and molarity is the moles of solute. So again, moles of solute per liter of solution. So molar liter of solution. And again, make sure you use your cheat sheets. As always, if you have questions, let me know.